Hello and welcome to the 8th episode of Grammar TV for 2020. I'm Catherine Hill. And I'm Millie Gutland. It's Grammar TV's 4th anniversary and we're stoked for this episode. I go big or go home And I ain't going home cause summer's on Time for another throwback to simpler times where we'd sit ourselves in front of the TV and watch some prank, prank patrol. And my favourite, Scott Tweedy. So welcome to the first episode of Ripping Off the Prank Patrol. Today we're going to be going around putting some buckets on people's heads, see how they react and yeah, enjoy. Chills, literal chills. Grace brings us this next story on Grade 10 drama performances held recently. On Wednesday the 9th of September, the Grade 10 drama class were given the chance to perform in front of an audience for the first time post COVID. That's absolutely right. No. Do you know how to get another chair? Am I busting you too much? Yes! I pick one. Fine, six then. A big thank you goes out to Mrs. Peters for organising the event and to all the parents and teachers that came to support the students. We would also like to thank Deputy Mayor Danny Gibson for taking his time to adjudicate the performances. I've been here today with the Grade 10 drama students celebrating an outstanding depth of understanding and great talent in the drama area. Well done, Grade 10 drama students. <laughs> I've become impotent. I just shat myself. <laughs> you stole my top, I saw it first. I called dibs. You stopped on my foot. You broke the pack. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. Next, Jake brings us a story on a very talented student. Aisha Anis has been given a very exciting opportunity for next year. Here's what she has to say. Basketballer Aisha Anis has been offered a college scholarship in the United States. It's basically a full ride scholarship to um, Southern Utah University, which is pretty cool. Um, so I get everything, all my education paid for and get to play basketball while I'm studying, and yeah, which is cool. Well, it's like an apartment on campus sort of thing, so you can just basically walk to all your classes and to the gym and stuff, and um, I think that's paid for by the university as well. I believe my Torns coach, Sarah Neal, she's like really helped me with the process and now I understand a lot more about how basketball works over there and stuff, and um, she's put me in contact with a few colleges and stuff. Lifting like three or four times a week and then You've got to be doing, at the moment in off season, you've got to be doing cardio because you're not playing. And obviously, because of coronavirus, you're not playing. So, like, just a bit of running and um, obviously a lot of shooting. Like, shout out to Mr. Gray for being the best maths teacher. What a wicked opportunity. We're all sad to see you go, but extremely excited for you. Recently, there was a fundraiser held in the form of an M&D freeze at school on Friday the 11th of September. Here are some highlights. The M&D charity on Friday the 11th of September was a charity raising money for Australians suffering MMD to live better and longer lives. Several teachers had icy water poured on their heads for the occasion. But the real hero of the day was Dr Rogers, who had a scullet cup for the occasion, raising over $1,000 for the charity. This was a great effort and I'm looking forward to seeing how much we can raise for the walkathon. What a wonderful cause. Wish I could pull off a scallop. Mmm, I don't reckon you could pull that one off. <laughs> anyway, to celebrate Grammar TV's fourth birthday, Sophie has put together a highlight reel of some of our finest moments. Hello and welcome to Grammar TV. I'm Taryn Tedwoods. And I'm Hannah Sexton. This is the first episode of Grammar TV and hopefully the first of many. 
Mafia. hand sanitizer it's very minimalistic um, consistency is airy but only problem is it's not very effective or eye-catching today we are viewing the Declan Harris in his natural habitat of Launceston Church Grammar School as you can see the Declan is playing his favorite leisurely activity basketball so how did Ethan go in his races not good I'll tell you what I wouldn't want this stuff on my hands Good times, some wicked memories there. Certainly. Thank you for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe. Time for a cup of tea, eh? Yes, sir.